What's up folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Erasure, and we're going back to the 1995 self-titled album. Uh, I'm very excited to keep going through this. Uh, a number of people have mentioned this is essentially uh, Erasure at their most experimental, at their most um, unconcerned about commercial pop, um, you know, the commercial pop formula that they had um, sort of expressed and articulated over a few albums, and instead this is more exploratory, more soundscape, um, and let's say more artistic, for lack of a better word, uh, which is funny because a number of people who did make that comment said their next album swings hard the other direction, and it's very catchy, it's very poppy, so um, yeah, just interested to chart this larger erasure journey. I mentioned before they are a group that goes back to my youth, and one that um, I thought of very nostalgically when I began to do synth-pop reactions, and indeed uh, the remix final I had for Ola Moore um, was one of the first non-Depeche reactions I did. I think maybe even the very first non-Depeche uh, reaction I did when it comes to synth pop. So, in any case, uh, as I said, I'm curious to hear this album, given that reputation as them at their most experimental and um, exploratory, and then interested to hear the next album as they swing back to a more catchy. Um, and pop heavy sound. So, in any case, uh, the next tune on the self titled album is uh, Sono Luminous. I was curious, um, I was wondering if it was Italian. If you read it as Italian, it means I am luminous, but luminous not, you know, in a translated way. I don't know if that goes back to Latin. If it is Latin, um, then I'd assume it essentially means the same thing. Um, but yeah, ultimately, um, I don't. I don't know Latin. I know Latin and Greek roots to a certain extent, uh, which incidentally I was just talking to someone the other day about the way that the term polyamorous is really weird because you're mixing a Greek and a Latin root. Like, shouldn't it be multi-amorous multi or polyphilial? Uh, regardless of that issue, um, yeah, I know a few Greek and Latin roots here and there, but I don't speak Latin. So if it means the same thing, then we can think about this tune as being a self-realization as a source of light. Light obviously could be more literal, more figurative, maybe both. The idea of shining or um, you know, being a source of energy or warmth for others. Uh, there's a number of ways I feel like you could think about being uh, luminous in a personal sense. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, it makes me wonder whether the sonics will be bright, whether they'll be expansive in that way, the way, you know, light, as soon as it is, you know, has a source or an origin, it will spread in all directions um, at the speed of light. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious the way that might manifest. Now, if it just um, is a phrase with a, a sound and it's, you know, not actually a lyric in the track, um, then I'm not quite sure what to make of it. And indeed, even if that is what essentially it translates to, um, beyond the idea of um, self-realization as a bright and energetic source. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. So let's find out as Luca consistently repositions herself. She's like, want to sleep this way? No, should I sleep this way? No, let's sleep this way. In any case, uh, let's listen. This is Erasure, Sono Luminous uh, from the 1995 self-titled album. <laughs>
a really high theremin or alien sounding layer.
exactly what people are saying. Um, that's, you know, there are a couple times I thought maybe it was going to end, but no, not formulaic, not, not that anything that they've done um, do I view as formulaic in a bad way. Like, I feel like they're one of the groups that pretty early on, it, they found their wheelhouse. They found, you know, what they really did well. Um, and not to say that there aren't some, there isn't some variety of atmosphere in the early um, albums, which there certainly is. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a tune that had me uncertain about where it was going, when it was going to end, what exactly we'd hear. I love the way as it went on, there were different elements that came in, the uh, theremin, the really high alien sort of layer, and then eventually there was that um, that other melodic synth that I was saying. It was a very epic melody, but it sounded like it was on like a, a synth, uh, synth uh, kazoo, uh, which gave it a sort of funny... Uh, uh, sonic feel in the sense that it felt grand but it also felt like it was being a bit cheeky at the same time uh, the way that bass kept rolling in those little um, cascading uh, percussive sounds at the end of the measure leading into the next uh, measure I love the the rolling synth bass bubbling as I said Andy's layered vocals I didn't pick up on the the essence of the themes at play um, heard a few lines again it felt like a very luminous and increasingly like warm and sunny journey whether that's emotionally or situationally but um yeah didn't pick up on exactly what it was or what the translation of the title phrase was and again there's that spoken line right after the sung title phrase that i just couldn't piece together it sounds like something do sound like there was a the verb to do somewhere in there but i couldn't quite uh, piece together the rest so uh, lyrically definitely got to listen some more I'm sure some people will comment uh, thank you in advance um, but yeah sonically I love that one and one that absolutely captured that experimental really you know going longer than a typical tidy pop song um, you're know, trying some different layers and bring them all together at the end so sonically absolutely love that one an instant favorite um, and as I said you know I'm looking forward to the whole erasure journey so I imagine I'm going to love this album but knowing the way they can really hit a pop song so you know much in their wheelhouse I'm also looking forward to cowboy so um, yeah, bottom line, um, I'm here for Erasure, uh, whatever they're doing. Do let me know what you think about this one. And Luca, we are going to get up, and I will put you back down. And we have the horizontal cat. In any case, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.